Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use get next item, which is the part of walk queue v view. In the previous video, you learned how to get pending items. Now get next item is used to walk on queue items, which is ready to process. It means which is pending that has not been processed and get next item will pick that a specific item it will lock that item so that other robot cannot pick that item so let me show you here take this external stage double click on this select walk queues and here we have this action that is get next item so it will get one by one next item from queue whatever queue name you will specify here that will take based on the key filter and take filter if you enter here and then it will give you a collection of data which is stored in the data specific queue and it will give you the item id here we get also a status and attempts but mostly we just use here as a item id and data so this can be used to get next item so let me show you here let me close this one i already have one process created for this queue where i am using get next item so you can see here we have this process so here we are using get next item in this one we are passing our queue name and then in output we are just taking as a item id and queue data so queue data so here we will be getting all the collections of uh, records against that item id and that item id that we are getting in this output here that we are using here in the got item like we have item or not so if we have item pending in our queue so it will start processing here otherwise it will say that okay close the application and uh, says that there is no data like that so let me use the same let me use this one and let me run this one uh, so instead of adding items to queue I already have a queue available here let me go to the control then now click on uh, this queue you already have eight records that is pending so it will start one by one it will get next item it will lock that a specific item and it will start processing so let me come to this one and then instead of uh, adding items to queue we can directly go and s run from here launch and login part right now set next stage and now let me increase this one so it will launch and login that part that application it will enter credential here and then let me go to this here so it will click on the order menu and then here you can see once it will go through this get next item it will store that specific item id in this item id data item and then so we have this data item here available it means we have data available in this item id so it will come here right and then it will start processing all these things so let me directly run this from here and now you'll see one by one it will run it's going to process everything which is that we have designed here in our this process studio so we have around eight records it will run this eight times So you can see here now it has completed the processing and it shows that completed so it means all the records that we have that is eight records that has been processed now now we don't have anything in the pending let me refresh that and we can now see here today um, let me see so 
today is 15th of January. So all the records processed here now and that status is marked as a completed because here in this one we, we are also using to update the that specific item as a completed. So by this way we can use get next item to get the next item to process. So this is the use of get next item. I hope this is useful. If so then please like this video and please subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn UiPath RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UiPath RPA. And if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for Blue Prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description. You can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.